So we're going to look at identifying A and D in an arithmetic sequence. And so A and D, these are going to be parts of your formula that you use. So if you remember back to your formula sheet, see that you're given these formulas, the arithmetic general term here, you've got t is equal to a plus bracket n minus 1 bracket times d. a and d are specific parts of the sequence, and so what we're going to learn to identify is what they are when you've been given a sequence, and then we can learn how to plug them into the formula. So a is always going to be the first term, so in this sequence you see a is the very first term, so in this case, sorry, you see 1 is the first term, so that means a is equal to 1 and d is what we call the common difference and you can see here that's the amount that you either add or subtract by each time so again here this is going to be d so these are the same problems from the other page um, you might notice that or you might not notice that but again here just identifying what they are a is always the first term so that's just going to be 1 and d in this case, we can see here that we're going up by plus 5 every time, so d is just 5. In a situation like this, I see that a is going to be equal to 23, because it's the first term in the sequence. And here, I know I'm going down by 5 each time. So d is equal to, f f oh, sorry, not 5, negative 5. You've got to watch your signs there. So in this case, I have a positive 5 that's going up by 5 and in this one it's going down by 5, so I say negative 5. Um, and if you're uncertain on any of these, or have trouble subtracting or figuring out what it is, just use your calculator. Here I would have done 18 minus, tw sorry, yeah, 18 minus 23 to figure out my difference would be negative 5. Here to figure out d I could have gone 6 minus 1 and I would get a d of 5. So you can always just subtract some of the terms if you need to figure out what the d is.